G'day, I'm Stefan, back with another episode of Reach Out TV. Last episode, we answered some of your frequently unasked questions about drugs, but today, we're looking at it from another angle. We're talking to two different people about how they deal with drugs in the world around them. First up, let's talk to Ed. So Ed, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Uh, sure, I'm 22 years old. I'm living in Sydney at the moment. I'm currently in the process of finishing my psych degree. Cool. So, in your opinion, what's the link between peer pressure and drug taking? Well, I think, I think it's not so much peer pressure. I think they don't want to get left out. They don't want to miss out on what their friends are experiencing. So, the million dollar question. Why do people still do drugs, even if there's heaps of info out there about the risks involved? Well, I think um, drugs tend to be taken in this social environment and it's at those moments where the furthest thing from people's minds is considering the consequences of taking this, this drug. Is there any point in educating people about taking drugs? I think there definitely is a point in educating people about drugs. I think it's, it's not so much about telling them what to do, it's more about giving them the information so that they can make their own decisions. Cool. So like Ed said, it's good to know your options and the facts about drugs. Let's go talk to Sean Hazeldean, National Manager of Save a Mate. So Sean, who is SAM and what does SAM do? Okay, SAM stands for Save a Mate and it's a Red Cross program that tries to help young people stay safe when they're partying and to, to keep good mental health and all of that as well. Are there any common misconceptions with drugs such as say ice, speed and ecstasy? I guess one of the things with those kinds of drugs is that um, there's, often there's a lot of other things in them than the, than the actual drug that people think they're getting. So let's talk about ice. What are the risks involved when used in a party environment? Well, ice is a very, very strong amphetamine, so uh, it can be very, very powerful. Um, and it raises a heartbeat and raises you know, their, their sort of uh, activity levels and everything like this as well. Uh, at its worst, I guess, people can get feelings of paranoia and delusion, they can um, you know, have hallucinations, and there is a potential sometimes for people to get violent as well on ice, um, but also it impairs their judgement. So, you know, they may end up, uh, they feel like they're kind of in control sometimes, but they're not actually. At its worst case, you could um, possibly overdose. Um, where their heart rate would just get too fast and their body heat would get too hot uh, and they'd collapse basically um, and sometimes that can lead, lead to a heart attack. If that happens people need to know to call an ambulance right away, absolutely get an ambulance on the way and don't be afraid, just better that somebody gets proper, proper care basically um, and make sure to tell the ambulance officers what they've taken. When you're going out partying with your mates and they're intending on taking drugs, but you're not, what's good to know? First, I'd try and encourage everybody to eat before they go out. Yeah. Um, to take, you know, regular rests if they're dancing a lot. Make sure you do rest as well, because you, you, particularly if they're taking drugs, they sometimes don't realise how tired they are. Be careful how much you drink, particularly if they're taking amphetamines, because you won't necessarily feel drunk. Um, and to drink a, a lot of water, I guess, about, we usually say about 250 to 500 mils per hour. Um, and if they could keep drinking that water through the night, th these are the kinds of things that might help make it a bit better for you. And lastly, what are the risks of mixing drugs and alcohol? Yeah, well, mixing drugs and alcohol um, can, it actually strengthens the other drugs. It, um, you know, uh, and you don't necessarily know what's going to happen with it. You don't know how strong it's going to be. So mixing drugs is actually the leading cause of overdoses. So that's it for us. For more info on ecstasy, speed and ice, head to reachout.com.au. See you soon on Reach Out TV. Later. Yeah.